Putin orders to make new nuclear missiles and to weigh placing them near NATO countries. Russia could resume the production and global deployment of ground-based intermediate and short-range missiles, President Vladimir Putin has said. Munitions of this type were originally restricted by the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty, which collapsed back in 2019, yet Russia opted neither to produce nor deploy such weaponry even after the demise of the Cornerstone Agreement with the US. During the Cold War, such missiles were a key part of the Soviet force, but in the early 1990s, the United States removed from Europe all of its intermediate-range ground-based nuclear cruise missiles and ballistic missiles and the Soviets eliminated their SS-20 missiles. These moves were considered major steps in reducing tensions. But a decade ago, Putin reversed Russia's move, deploying Iskander missiles to Kaliningrad, the Russian region closest to Western European cities. Vladimir Putin made the remarks during a meeting with permanent members of the country's Security Council. Hostile actions by the US now require Moscow to review its stance on the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty covered weaponry, Putin told the gathering. Moscow has lived by its promise to neither produce these missiles nor deploy them as long as the United States does not deploy such systems anywhere around the globe following the collapse of the treaty, Putin noted. However, the situation has changed, with Washington deploying such missiles overseas, the president said. We now know that the US is not only producing these missile systems, but has also brought them to Europe, Denmark, to use in exercises. Not long ago, it was reported that they were in the Philippines. It is unclear whether they have taken these missiles out of the Philippines or not, Putin explained. Russia now needs to respond to this and decide on our further steps in this regard, Putin stressed, suggesting the resumption of intermediate and short-range missiles was actually the only option for the country. It appears that we need to begin producing these attack systems and then, based on the actual situation, decide on where to deploy them to ensure our security, if necessary, he said. This time, Russians stormed the positions of the Ukrainian armed forces in a Ziguli car. Russian occupiers are storming Ukrainian positions using various types of military equipment, even Ziguli vehicles. An officer of the planning section of the Rubez Brigade of Ukraine, Major of the National Guard Dmitry Kozubenko, said this on air at the telethon according to Unayan Agency. At the same time, he spoke about a curious incident when a month ago the enemy greatly surprised the Ukrainian military. They stormed our positions in a Ziguli. It was a VAZ-2104 type vehicle, but without doors. It was maximally prepared for the rapid landing of infantry. But they demilitarized both themselves and the car very quickly, Bozubenko noted. At the same time, he added that he couldn't even imagine what else the enemy could do to surprise the Ukrainian military. They stormed us in buggies, ATVs, motorcycles and Ziguli cars. Armored vehicles, of course. The only thing is, if they ride now on a unicycle or a bicycle, he joked. Gozobenko also explained why it is very difficult to fight in the city. Urban combat is a very difficult part of warfare because the enemy can hide in basements, destroyed houses, attics. There are a lot of places where you can set up firing positions, observation posts that will be hidden from our side, he noted. At the same time, he added that it is drones that help identify the enemy because the bulk of our positions are either at ground level or below ground level and it is very difficult to see the enemy moving behind the rubble. According to him, therefore, with the help of Mavics, it is possible to detect the enemy from the air and with the help of thermal imaging cameras, identify them in shelters. Gozobenko noted that copters play an important role during battles in the city because they can look there and see what is not visible from positions. Retired British Army colonel and famous military expert Glenn Grant said that there may be an unexpected enemy attack that will catch the Ukrainian armed forces completely unawares. He noted that as the war progresses, Russia is becoming increasingly desperate in its attempts to achieve its goals. According to him, attacks are becoming more frequent, more old equipment is being transferred to the front line, and even innovative tactics are being used, 
such as using combat buggies and motorcycles for attacks. Thus, pressure is put on the Russian front line and on officers to achieve results. Grant noted that while the front line is moving forward, Russia is losing in the broader picture. 